Hello Scorpio, I hope you're all doing well in today's reading with looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Sagittarius twice, Cancer, little bit of Virgo, Aries. Those are the signs. So let's look at this person. How do they perceive themselves, their self-image? Sun, Venus, Tower, Empress. It's likely that this person has a dominant Venus in their chart, but I think they have a healthy self-image. This is someone who is quite confident with your Sun, right? Confidence. Um, I'm getting a bit of a leadership or leadership qualities or an authority figure of some sort that's coming through because we have Emperor here as well. For how you will be viewing them very much in control quite dominant as a person which i have in your oracle we'll get to but yeah it's extremely loving caring nurturing person this person's all heart they can be a tad bit diplomatic that's their venus charm there they don't like to rock the boat too often i'm seeing with this tower they've been through for one, this person's been through a lot of ups and downs in their life. Um, I'm not sure if it's they've lost someone close to them or especially their mother's coming through. Doesn't have to be, but it can be just they were in a commitment and that didn't work out. So it can be that that has taken a bit of a toll on their self-worth but the best part about this is they're aware of that and they're working on it so that's nice for how other people perceive them their reputation amazing amazing energy we have saturn 11th house 9th house 10 of pentacles ace of wands three of cups so i was saying this person's extremely good looking um it's very charming so that works in their favor in their social life as well but also work work is coming through strongly so it could be that uh, you meet through work because i did ask how you would meet and we have eight of pentacles queen of pentacles so this is a work school some sort of business matter here some formal setting where you're hard at work is what is coming through for most of you others of you it can be just a gathering of some sort but i'm getting a group setting and this person does work with a group of people that is coming through very much cherished loved by everyone their co-workers they have a lot of acquaintances along with a lot of friends as well very popular individual a lot of this has to do with one they're easygoing and two they're extremely good looking <laughs> so people naturally gravitate towards them and they're represented by ten of pentacles ten of pentacles and saturn that's ten ten so ten could be significant to you but all they they're wealthy is what i'm coming i'm getting wealthy background or they earn a lot through whatever their vocation is here but extremely wise person most likely in a position of leadership they can be older than you with that Saturn influence doesn't have to be but it's a possibility this is someone who's quite adventurous perhaps likes going out drinking hanging out with friends getting a bit of an extrovert here for how others see them but very friendly energy Scorpio let's get to their heart space so how do they experience and deal with emotions we have two of cups temperance beautiful this person's all heart i was telling you they're very emotional and i think they're emotionally healthy <laughs> if that makes sense they won't have a hard time compromising when they feel they need to um so that's beautiful and just yeah someone who's chill easygoing very peaceful calm energy coming through for how they deal with their emotions there some of them may internalize a lot of things so i'm getting they may not be the most if something's bothering them they let it simmer within but it's because they don't want to hurt the other person is what i'm getting and i see that for how they 
express themselves, their mind space, how they demonstrate their intellect and their thoughts. We have Moon, Virgo, Cancer, Seven of Cups, Eight of Swords. So this is where they'll have some challenges at communicating. I'm getting they can be a bit of extreme. Sometimes they can be quite dry, logical, and other times they let their emotions sway them. So they can sometimes feel a bit confused. May have a hard time expressing themselves. They, they're an overthinker as well. But extremely emotional. And that does... It's conveyed in the way they express themselves, what they say. Sometimes overly concerned how they come across. A lot of this is they're wanting to be well liked by everyone. So they don't want to hurt anyone. So they really think through anything they will extremely thoughtful person is what is coming through for their spiritual life are they spiritual we have magician ten of swords death i don't think so uh they're more likely to be religious but i'm not getting that as well if they were born with a certain religion they've been through something some endings and it's almost as if they don't trust so if you were to tell them something there's they would have a lot of questions for you they don't trust easily so if you say something about religion or spirituality they'd ask you to prove it to them so a bit distrustful so i'm saying not the most spiritual if they were religious, they may, because of everything they've been through, they may feel almost getting a tad bit of resentment that because they've been betrayed many times. It's almost they've lost trust in God or a higher power. For your first impression of them, we have Ace of Cups Emperor. So you'll see them as someone who's a dominant figure, someone with leadership qualities, a bit stoic in expression, someone who's not over talkative, very much in control of their emotions, their expressions. They don't express much really, but you'll have their your eye on them. We have seeking guidance and hard to figure out here with your love tea. So yeah, tarot readings. You'll be trying to figure this, your, your person out. You'll be getting readings or watching these sorts of readings on YouTube when you meet them. Or if you've already met them. Because Emperor doesn't reveal much. Extremely powerful. You'll notice this person right away. This person turns heads when they walk into a room. It's very loud energy. Aries coming through. Though gentle, they're boss-like, they're dominant, but they're gentle. I was very, it's a softy. They may not show that. I'm getting a bit like that crab energy. Cancer, right? Hard on the outside, soft on the inside. Yeah, this is your person. People love them, loves them. They really light up a room when they enter. For, let's see, your life circumstances when you meet your person. We have Six of Pentacles, the Sun, Queen of Cups. Nice. So you're happy, I think. Emotionally fulfilled. In a good space. Quite generous energy coming from you as well. Very giving, generous, positive, optimistic. Looking forward with this Queen of Cups. Emotionally available. This is your energy, so you'll be in your element. So that's beautiful. Extremely sensitive, caring, and open to love. Beautiful. Because she has her cup held out, right? She's ready to share her cup with another, share her love. And look at the, your first impression. It's almost you have your eye on your person. So I'm getting 
some sort of intuitive knowing that this person's special, that there's something more. Because your energy is such, you're quite psychic or intuitive. I wouldn't be surprised if you're getting signs, synchronicities, a feeling, an inner knowing that you're about to meet this person. Because it's an instant, your eye will quickly gravitate towards them, even if they're in some sort of group setting. For their first impression of you, we have Four of Swords, Hierophant. They, you're minding your own business. Although you have your eye on this person, you're not showing. They won't realize that you have your eye on them. Because they're seeing you as someone who's reserved, not bothered. Perhaps someone who's quite traditional, likes to follow the rules. Someone who has high standards. This is all they're getting in the first impression. Right? If, someone, if you're someone at school or work, someone who likes to do the right thing. Hardworking, Taurus coming through, down to earth, grounded energy. Peaceful, calm, serene. But not sure they'd, they'll trust you right away. Because I think this person finds you very beautiful. They may think that you have other people in your energy. Our life circumstances when you meet, we have King of Pentacles, Page of Wands, the world. This is interesting. There could be distance here for some of you, very few of you. So this could be a message online. But what I'm getting, this person may be traveling for work when you meet. Perhaps coming to your workplace or you're going into their workplace. or They may be quite in and out of your work area or school, wherever. But they're in a period in their life where they, you know, they were Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, um, quite established. They have their finances together. They're, they're secure. But also open for an adventure, right? Page of Wands, usually inspiration, excitement, flirty communication. I think this person will, once, you know, they let their guard down and they observe you for a bit. I think they'll be quite fun, flirty with you. But yeah, they're, they're in a secure position in life when you meet. Let's look at your oracle cards. Okay, so we have marriage here. <laughs> That's funny. You will either take your relationship to the next level or you will get married. There's much to celebrate. Yes, for sure. We have love-hate. There is an indecisive pattern in this relationship. Can't live with them. Can't live without them situation. I'm not surprised. You know, Scorpio 8th house, that does talk about love-hate rela relationships. But also what I'm getting, there is some self-love that you both need to work on. And that's the root of this pattern, love-hate. You know, it can be you, it can be your person or both of you. It's something to do with you rather than something that this person's triggering within you rather than the person themselves, really. Because I'm seeing this as a great match. We have Dom Sub. You could be dating someone that will be very dominant. It's up to you if this is the kind of relationship you want. I'm getting this person as the dominant one. And you are the more feminine, receptive energy. And I think you will be okay with that. Because I think you respect this person. And I think if you know someone gains a Scorpio's trust and respect, they don't have a problem following. They don't feel threatened by another person's power. Let's look at your love cards. We have tenderness. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I think they wear two of cups, temperance. They'll love you. Quite tender with you, Scorpio. Very gentle. 
although on the outside they may appear a bit rigid, unwilling to compromise, but not with you. And they'll be a gentle giant for some of you. <laughs> we have commitment, so yeah. Yep, wow, you have that twice, marriage and commitment. So we are very loyal to one another. A long journey ahead of you. And there's a rainbow at the end of this pathway. So I think you may grow old together. Beautiful. We have problem. So I'm not sure is this opposites attract? There may be some differences here. Because these two are a bit different, right? It's the cups and the earth coming together. The two suits are a bit different, but they're quite compatible. Actually, this can work beautifully. But yeah, sometimes, it, some of you, it can be opposite to track, but I think you'll work through this because there's a lot of love here. But it's two puzzle pieces that aren't fitting together. So sometimes it can be challenging, right? We had that love-hate. I want you, but I don't. And we have a drinks bar. So you could meet at a bar with the Three of Cups. They like to go out a lot, so that's possible. Or a work party. After work drinks. Um, or it just could be, you know, this person's quite social. They'll like to take you out, wine, dine, enjoy the finer things in life. Because King of Pentacles does, right? They have a lot of money, so they'll want to spend it on someone. I think they'll want to spend it on you. We have a gossip. Special to me. This is beautiful, right? Tenderness. And special to me. Yeah, you both will really cherish one another. Very affectionate couple. Gossip, you know, I'm getting, it could be other people prying in on this connection, jealous exes, God knows, jealous co-workers, if this is a work school thing, everyone's talking, yapping away, but who cares, really, it's about both of you, and I think you're marrying this person, so you have nothing to worry about, you will win. It's funny, though, because your person has a lot of people interested in them because of their high vibrational energy here and their looks and all that com combination of things. But it's almost as if they see you the same. So it could be that you're quite, well, your spouse will be seeing you as very attractive. I want to get more about their personality with just the astrological cards. We'll see what else we can get, Scorpio. Sorry if I'm sounding a bit dull, just tired. <laughs> but yeah, let's start with the astrological. Pluto, Pluto, we have Scorpio. <laughs> a numinous mystery a scorpionic energy saturn oh wow that's coming out twice 11th house that's coming out twice mercury square challenge Mm, yeah, wow, sexual magnetism. Yeah, definite long term. Definitely. Oh, yeah, Mercury. Okay, nice.
very sensual person though scorpio we have venus pluto a lot of chemistry here sexual attraction is off the charts i think you'll find this person extremely intriguing and yeah there's a bit moth drawn to a flame energy here strong strong physical attraction um saturn seventh house so what this is a relationship that it'll stand the test of time really saturn is it holds it works as a glue it's yeah good luck if anyone wants to break the both of you up this is till death do us apart saturn seventh house for sure there will be challenges here with the square or sixth house pisces i'm getting again remember this person was having a bit difficulty with their communication it's a bit push me pull me here where which you may have difficulty with because this person may be sending you mixed signals um that is something you'll have to work on sometimes they're emotional and you know very present and other times they're distant and some of you it could be something out of their control if they're traveling for work which is why there's that on again off again um but that's a minor part of I wanted to get the little bit of negativity I was seeing. But Mercury first house, great conversation between the both of you. Um, although this person's a bit hesitant um, when they're talking to people because they're very sensitive and they know what it's like to get be hurt. So they don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. And sometimes they repress what they want to say. Not in this marriage. Um, you, they'll feel very comfortable with you and they'll express... Mercury in first house is usually a bit of a chatterbox energy, um, someone who doesn't really have a filter. So I think with the 11th house paired with Mercury, there's a great friendship here. So you feel comfortable. Um, you get one another's sense of humor. There is nothing, you know, this isn't boring, dull. You're quite curious about many things. There's a, this is a bit of a gossip energy didn't we have gossip? Yeah, you both of me. I don't know. You both of me like to gossip with each other. <laughs> so there's great communication, though. Just, you know, every day wanting to be in contact, um, texting each other when you're at work or if you're away, you know, connecting via social media, video call. This is extremely important to the both of you. Just talking, hearing one another's voice and yeah great friendship i think a large you'll be quite you'll be well known in your community but you're also a social couple i think you both will be combining your friend group and i think there'll be a large vast group of people in your corner here supporting you great friendship it's almost as if you're married